In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to place an ATM auto trail stop onto the charts in Ninja Trader 8. Now, this uh, now first thing you want to do is make sure this section's open, your chart trader. If it's not, simply go up here and it may be off. Turn it on. And you want to come over to where it says ATM strategy. Drop down, click custom, and the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, place the amount of orders that we want to do. So I'm going to leave this as, at one. Stop loss is going to be 20 ticks. Now you can choose delta price and value as well, but I'm just going to leave it at ticks. And I'm profit. I'm going to leave it zero. I'm going to let my stop become my uh, profit target as well. And then come over here to stop strategy and check or select auto trail. Once that opens up, you're going to see another box. Now, on this auto trail, after uh, it gets to a certain depth into the money, I, I want it to change my stop from 20 to 12. 12 ticks. So it's going to be when it gets 16 points, or excuse me, 16 ticks into the money. Frequency is going to be one. That means it's going to trail tick by tick. Money moves one tick in my favor. The stop's going to move up one tick. And we'll click OK. And then click OK. And you'll notice now under ATM strategy, you have custom with a little explanation mark there. That means it's active. So what that means, if I go by market, it's going to automatically throw this trail and stop in there. So let's do that. And you'll notice we're filled and we have a trailing stop 20 points below. Now, from this point, I've pre-recorded a demonstration of this because I want to be able to mark it up and explain the mechanics of this. So let's get to that point. Okay, we're, this is pre-recorded, but we're about to place the order that we just made, the trailing order that we just made. And the first thing I want you to explain about these trailing orders is if you remember, there was two parts to it. These two parts means it's actually two different orders. And the, uh, the original order will be replaced by the trailing order when the targets are met. So let's watch this happen. We're going to sell the market here. And notice now, sold the market, got a contract short at 69.42. It automatically put my stop loss at 69.47, which is 20 ticks away or five points away, right? 42, 47, 42 from 47 is five. So now, once this price reaches about 69.38, somewhere up in here, somewhere in this point here, once it reaches that, which is uh, 16 points into the money, which is what we set on the, on the second part of this trail order that we want it to trigger once this gets 16 points into the money. Once the, once the money is 16 points deep in our favor, it's going to trigger. And that will be right at about 16, 9, 38. So let's watch this. And there it triggered it, 16938. Now notice when it triggered it at 16938, our stop is at 16941. So instead of being 20 ticks away or five points away, it is now uh, four points away. Because we, we changed our stop lot or three excuse me, three points away. 30 41 from 38. 38 from 41 is three. If you remember, we changed our stop loss on the second part of the order, which is a second order altogether. We changed it to 12. So the point spread between the stop loss and the money is now 12. And at, from this point on, as it moves in our favor, the stop loss will trail tick for tick. 
example, for if price goes to 69.37, the stop will move to 69.40. Price goes to 69.36.75, the uh, the stop will move to 69 uh, 69.39.75, so forth and so on. So let's watch this happen. See how it's doing that? And that's it. And we got stopped out. And we took a profit on that one. But that's what trailing stops are good for. So if this has helped, how about leaving a like, subscribe, leave a comment. You have a good day.